you know, what was the reason for today? You guys called me. Oh, we called. Yeah, we did. We told me to come. We wanted to, after they're open, after Well, that's why we said to wait until they, they passed it, because there was that question about the time. Um, speaking to some of the state officials, they say that there's a time. Yeah, I read that in the paper. Right. June, so, June. So we didn't know how you guys, we didn't know, we, we didn't think that you guys were going to be ready to make a decision that day. We told you we were going to be ready. Right. So we just figured we'd meet afterwards and okay. go the, the, the time refrains is on the printing ballot printing. More than Yeah, because I saw that you, you mentioned that it was June 2nd or 3rd or something. Yeah. Yeah. When did they? Yeah. Um, by the end of the final period. <coughs> so really, I mean, that's what, you know, the only concern was trying to get this, you know, organized to get it out, you know. Once you guys did this, then we'll, well go back and... Yeah, when I, when I read the paper and saw that, you know, and I, and I know I'm not naive from the last time we tried this and did it by petition, you know, we had, I mean, it was a rush. And so that's why I, I wanted to go ahead and pass the resolution in order so we can take our time and do it right. And do it right. I know there's tons of questions out there. Oh yeah. There I got tons myself. Yeah. This is what I would ask, is that we jointly work on finding the answers to those questions. Now some of the some of the questions that I'd ask that I have thought answered is concerning uh, indebtedness. You, you absorbents keep your own indebt indebtedness after consolidation. It becomes a joint indebtedness, anything that you occur after that point. Okay. That was one question that I had, is with, you know, how does that work? Uh, there's probably a, another dozen that I can take off the top of my head right now. But, uh, my thought process is pretty simple. And it's the same thought that I've had before. We all need to ask ourselves, can we afford to continue to keep two cities with our population? And, and that's something we look at. You know, I mean, you're going to get our, our financial and you'll, and you'll get ours. And so right. that way we can at least look at, you know, our big question still is um, revenue. We don't know for sure what we're getting from the Coach. And that's 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 how we when do when would you when, when do you think you will find out about that? The, the two thousand twelve, the two thousand eleven is settled and we got our a couple of days ago we got our bill that we have to pay back to the power plant seventy eight thousand dollars. And you have the money to pay back. So do you know when but but you don't know. in in that agreement that they signed with the county and the state, they're they're going to give us back. They're going to they're going to take our uh, rate up to the highest what you can charge, you know, sure. for taxation, and they're going to give that back to us. Right. So you have a rebate, some type of rebate going on. In the right. And you have a rebate yeah. somewhere. Yeah. You see, yeah. we have we have a, a unattainable uh, finance in our. That's the city also, and that's ECDC. Right. You know, you have no idea what they're going to take in. You know, one month they may go crazy and take in a lot, and the next month it's, it's just, it depends on what their contracts are. However, all of that money is already earmarked. It has been earmarked, and it will continue to be earmarked until the indebtedness is paid. The only good thing, having worked there, I, I got some inside information as to whether or not they'll ever close their doors. They're sitting on a $40 million bond, and part of that bond issue would have to be paid if they walk away and leave us indebted. So that's an insurance policy. Yeah. For, yeah. Even, if, even if they only become, say, the county landfill, for lack of a better term. But you know, they've got feelers out there and they're moving towards getting more. Uh, the only thing is, when the economy goes, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. They're going to take a hit. But well, you still have garbage, though. Oh, well, yeah, you're still going to have that. And, no matter, and, and no, you still have soils coming in. No matter what happens, if the two cities merge, or, or even if the city, if they don't merge, 
you know, the city of East Harbor has raised zero taxes on their residents for a period of time. 14 years. For 14 years. Is this property taxes? Yeah, this property taxes. Because of it was at the max. No, it, it's not. It's, it's not max. It's not max. It's, it's not max. Out. It's not max out. <coughs> you don't have much higher to go, though. Right, but but they're going to, you know, you're going to have to raise some of the taxes, you know, you're going to have to raise some taxes, you know, to, you know, deal with the two cities merging. I mean, there's, there's no doubt both cities, you know, it's not that we're in the money, you know what I mean? Right. We're both struggling. You guys you franchise know? natural natural gas? I'm sorry? Do you franchise natural gas? Yes, See, we didn't franchise for a long time. Uh, yeah. And a uh, few years ago, we put it in seven years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Franchise yeah. tax on. We wasn't franchising, franchise taxing natural gas. But the biggest uh, contributor to that is ECDC when we put in the 6% franchise tax on natural gas. It's a, our franchise tax. Our franchise tax was, for 15 years, dedicated all of them and our telephone taxes and everything to the repayment of the installation of the. And see, there's a, there's a bill that should come up that on uh, cell phones. On cities having the ability to franchise cell phones. We franchise cell phones. We franchise cell phones. There are some of them that you can't franchise. Yeah, it's because they get 801 numbers. And that's what that bill's about. You see what I'm saying? You guys can't franchise an 801 number because it's not it's not local. We don't get franchise. Well, there's there's money to be, you know. It's not not it's not so much how much, it's anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well I'm just hoping that there's already been some months slump. I'm hoping that we can kind of keep it to a minimum. Right. I think because we both have those plans already in place, it's just updating some of the stuff and hopefully it won't be that bad again. Yeah. And you know, we're, you know, got, it's in the boat's hands like everything else, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. And you know, we'll, you know, after we get the plan, we put it on the boat's hands. It shouldn't be like, you know, between us or anything. It should really be between, you know, let the voters decide. And you know we should all come out of this understanding each other. You know what I mean? Because you can see, like from last time, my God, yeah. you, you can see it, you can, you can feel it. I'm like, wow. You know? Yeah, a, now we're bullies and we're like all this again. And it's like, there's another question that I had too, and uh, Jeremy answered part of it, and that's if you join the cities and if it passes, you have ten council people for sure. Well, until you have another election, but but Which he I hasn't wonder, answered. How do you, how do you break he hasn't time? answered this question for me yet. Is it another special election or a general election? I think you can. I think if you wanted to pay, you can do a special. That, see, that that was the question that I had, and then he said that those ten council people would appoint the mayor. Right. Yes, that's what. Well, if history repeats itself, you're going to have to get the. The eleventh one to break the tie, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what it would be. Because that's this this deal with the with the location of that building. Pardon me, pardon me if I called it insane, but I thought it was. You know, I'm sorry. It's just my feelings, and that's the way I feel about it. You know. I well, I think it, it, <coughs> in saying that it, it's going to be a matter of who runs for each city for mayor. Right. But well, you don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no way, man. You don't, you don't know who's going to throw their When is the deadline? It's June. It's June. It's June. It does say that they will choose. Like, you guys may run for mayor, but we could put Daryl in. Yeah. Well, once, no, once the, no, 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 once the I election. No. I think they have to choose from the two mayors. This is what it says yeah. in the code. <laughs> it says, governing body until next election. Until next regular municipal election. Into the consolidated municipality shall constitute the governing body of the municipality. The governing body shall elect one of their members to serve as mayor of the municipality and may appoint such other officers as being necessary to carry out the business of the mayor. That's, that's, that's what it says. So you'll have 10 council people. They'll choose a mayor. Well, you'll only have, you'll have 10. As a matter of fact, You've got five and five, that's ten, and then you've got, it includes the mayor. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. so you're going to have 12. So you'll have 11, and then you'll have one. Six and six. <laughs>
Still six kicks. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be worked out, whatever, whatever the rules that, is. That was the question that I had, because the only way to expedite that whole thing is, is if you can have a special election. Yeah. And you need to have that 